you would find in a conventional Victorian collection of stereo photographs. The one thing I would say is that I don't think your great-great-grandfather took them. Have a look on the back. These were commercially produced and you could buy them as souvenirs. And then you've got wonderful ones relating to the royal family. Uh, you've got Balmoral and Osborne in the Isle of Wight. So you can see it's a very rounded Victorian collection. Before we open it up, what I'd like to do is to enjoy the object. This fabulous burr walnut veneer here with the engraved brass strap work. I mean, it really is a top of the range model. And if I open the top here and here, this actually shines light down onto uh, what is inside, which is a sort of roll of stereoscopic photographs, which you can load up yourself, and then you turn these knobs and you get the next one coming up. But this is a special one, because you've got a viewer on each side, and that's called a sweetheart viewer. Because I think the idea was, and to excuse me, but if you would like to line up, in fact, I should do it with your dad. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So, you know, the idea is that you'd be looking like this, and then every so often you'd be, hello, exactly. <laughs> this, was, this was the sweetheart here, you see. So you would depart to one corner of the drawing room. Everybody would ignore you because you were just looking at the 3D photographs. But in fact, all kinds of flirtations, flirtations were going on. Thought. <laughs> The actual viewer has a finite value. I mean, that is going to be 400, 500 pounds. But there is also significant additional value through the cards themselves. So I would say that the whole collection, the cards and the viewer, I would put it at between perhaps 800 and 1,000 pounds. So it is a tabletop stereoscopic viewer, not an epidioscope. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you.